Peter from Electronic Specifier. I am on the Lambda Photometrics stand at the Engineering Design Show. With me is Luke Schillaber, who is the Managing Director of PMK Iwatsu, which is one of the latest additions to the Lambda Photometrics line card. Luke is just going to give us a demonstration. They've got a range of probes, and here's a demo of one of them. Luke. Hi there, yeah. So we've got a range of products here. Here we have an isolated oscilloscope, a 1 gigahertz 12 bit 8 channel oscilloscope, and a demonstration of some of our probes that we offer. Here we are measuring the same signal, which is a very high speed pulsar, with a variety of different probes. On these probes, we have adapters, cables, and wires. On the signal, you can see that the adapter cables are adding some ringing on a signal less than one nanosecond. On a signal more than four nanoseconds, all of the probes measure correctly. Therefore, it's not only important to select the probe that you're using for your measurement, but choose how to connect it to your test point correctly to avoid errors in your measurement. Okay, do you see, and do you see that as a problem sometimes for engineers? I see it a lot in labs. You go in and they have the most expensive, best equipment but then you connect it to the circuit incorrectly and you get ringing and overshoots on your signal and don't know where they're coming from. And you even get engineers finding signals and problems that they didn't know were there in the first place. <laughs> yes, exactly. Sometimes a power supply can be coupling back through the mains to your oscilloscope and cause a signal issue. And you change the type of probe to something that's isolated and all of these errors suddenly disappear and they have very clean measurements. Okay, just, just talk us a little bit through the PMK Watsu range of test and measurement equipment because that includes analyzers as well, I think, yeah. So we do analyzers for magnetic materials. Mm -hmm. We do transistor curve tracers, which are for analyzing your um, curves and on-state resistances of transistors. We do oscilloscopes. We do a whole range of measurement probes. And we have some multimeters and other products as well in our range. Okay. It's, you do a range of BH analyzers, which have evolved, I guess, over 20 years. Yeah, we've had the BH analyzer for a long time. And it's a dedicated instrument just for measuring the magnetic materials. So it removes all the air as you would get with a normal measurement such as DC offset or some inductances of your measurement equipment as well. Okay and as I say the range has evolved over the years well what sort of challenges have you been able to solve for engineers by enhancing that product? A lot of the challenges now are coming from the new wide band gap semiconductors. Mm -hmm. So everything's getting higher and higher speed, especially in power electronics. So we're having to combine RF and power technologies together, which isn't always easy because you've got to manage your isolation distances as well as your reflections and wavelengths you get with RF engineering. Okay, and you look after semiconductor tests as well and a, a range of oscilloscopes, what sort of frequency range are you looking there? Uh, so on the oscilloscopes we go up to one gigahertz and it's really a power electronics optimized oscilloscope. So it can generate test reports for switching waveforms and there's other features coming for power measurements and power electronics optimized functions. Okay, and th these products are manufactured where? Uh, the oscilloscopes are manufactured in Japan under the Awatsu brand mm -hmm. and they're manufactured in New Zealand under the Cleverscope brand. Oh. And the probing solutions are manufactured all in Germany. Okay, and so PMK Awatsu suggests a collaboration between two companies or it's a merger between two companies? So yeah, we're, we're a collaboration between uh, PMK who make the probes mm -hmm. and Iwatsu who make the big oscilloscopes and now Cleverscope have just got involved in that collaboration as well. So we have the isolated USB oscilloscope from Cleverscope. And you've uh, signed a, an agreement with, with Lambda Photometrics, that's to expand the business in the UK? Yes, yeah, so since Brexit, PMK kind of disappeared from the UK market and now we have a deal with Lambda Photometrics and they are our retailer for the UK market. Hey, Luke Shilliver, thank you very much. We're still on the land of photometrics then. I'm now with Peter Davenport, sales engineer. Peter, first of all, can you just give us a little bit of an idea of what PMK Watsu brings to land of photometrics? It extends our range of probing solutions. So currently we have manufacturer's probes, which are very, very good, but sometimes expensive. And this brings in a new range because PMK are a designer of probes, designing for some of the key manufacturers out there. And we can then sort of give customers alternative solutions and it also complements our current probing offers 
because we can test from on wafer, both package devices and also onto fully fledged circuits or systems. So we can give engineers the full suite of products to test. Uh, Lambda Photometrics is a technical distributor. Just, just tell people exactly what that is and how you can support customers. Because what we do is we listen to what the customer wants. We don't just sell and allow them to go through a data sheet because a lot of people don't understand what they need to test. They can't see the, the error. And if you can't see the error, you can't resolve that error and fix it. So it gives you further insight into faults on boards, faults in systems, even from RFID where we're looking at um, sort of tracing tracks which are invisible to the naked eye and difficult for engineers to resolve. And you have a, a broad range of, uh, of uh, on the line car with uh, Regal and uh, uh, Harogic and yeah. so what, what do they bring as well? So if we look at on wafer test we can actually see that customers now are going from small little chips now to power electronics, to, sili to silicon, to gallium arsenide. And these are high power devices, sometimes in the thousands of amps, up to 2000 amps, and up to eight kil kilovolts in, in power. And these are normally needed for sort of automotive applications, battery, battery power. And these type, the devices are characterized on first on wafer using a parametric tester, and then we can then do the package device so the manufacturer can check the specifications and that specification is actually placed into the data sheets of the manufacturers. Okay, Peter Denpol, thank you very much indeed. Thank you very much, Richard. Thank you.